But, but most of the time they do care about it. They just don't know how to care about you. And that's an epidemic in these days because we technology has advanced us so much and has also cut us off so much in the world. And we're, we communicate even less now than we ever have, and especially my generation and younger. We don't even know what's going on. Terrible. So to the diary we go. <laughs> and yeah, just get it down. Get it out of your head and onto the page and start sharing the problem. And then when you're ready, you can actually then go ahead and share it. You have better language around it and you can get a more concise verbal diarrhea of the experience out. <laughs> and uh, it, it helps. It helps a little bit at least. And that's a great place to start. Or go for a creative endeavor. Write music. Now, I did that for a very, very long time. I wrote music, produced music to express the things that I wasn't allowed to express through words or emotions through music, through art, painting, creating, heck, like fabricate some stuff in a metal workshop. I don't know, I'm just making things up now. Like just express, get some of this out and put it into something where people can be like, wow. Because sometimes the appreciation of a creative art and what you put into that can be enough to be like, I'm seen. And that can be, that can be a thing. Don't get addicted to that because that's really bad too. But it's, it's a start. It's a start. And then you can start to reach out and you might build higher quality people through those activities as well, through through that creative act. And you might actually find there are people in the woodwork that have always been there the whole time that you never knew you could trust in that way and you could never knew you could share. And it's always a risk to share too. So you've got to take that risk and, and find out and you never know until you do. <laughs> Thank you.